Today is March 18th, 2019. I'm Brent Nally, and this is a book review of Telomere Lengthening, Curing All Diseases, Including Cancer and Aging by Dr. Bill Andrews. Quick disclaimer, I know Dr. Bill Andrews just through the interwebs. I've been friends with him on Facebook for a number of years. We've had some phone conversations. Actually never met him in person, so hope to do that soon. But we've had some phone calls and communicate on Facebook quite a bit and I've learned quite a lot from him. This is his second book. He wrote another book, I believe in 2014, called Curing Aging, which was also fantastic. It was very similar in size to this book. This book's only about 80 pages, which is a positive in my opinion, because he's really compacting the information and giving you what the reader needs, just the high level, explaining to people that Telomeres are very important to human anti-aging and staying young and healthy. Every single major study that comes out tracking chronic diseases is showing that short telomeres are bad. So Bill Andrews likes to say, bad things happen when telomeres get short. So just remember that. You want your telomeres to be as long as possible. Before we jump into the book, I wanna give a quick bio on Dr. Bill Andrews. He went to University of California, San Diego for his undergrad and got two BAs, one in biology and one in psychology. He then went on to earn his PhD in molecular biology at the University of Georgia. After that, Dr. Andrews went on to be the director of molecular biology at Burlex Biosciences from 1983 to 1993. And then he joined Geron in Menlo Park, which is just down the street from where I'm filming right now in Woodside, California in the San Francisco Bay Area. He was a director of molecular biology there until 1997, and there he led a team that discovered the human telomerase enzyme. If you don't know what the telomerase enzyme is, then you are in for a treat by reading this book because you're gonna be reading the book from the person who led the team that discovered it. Now they did discover the telomerase enzyme in a little slime creature in 1983, and so we anticipated that there would also be a telomerase enzyme in other animals, including us. And in the last 20 plus years, we've discovered how important this enzyme is. It's a little micro bioprinter that prints out telomeres onto your chromosomes to basically help keep you young and healthy. So that telomere code is TTAGGG. And that code is just printed out by your telomerase enzyme. So the more active your telomerase enzyme is, the longer your telomeres are gonna be, therefore the better chance you have of preventing aging and chronic diseases. Finally, Dr. Andrews founded his own company where he's the president and CEO since 1999. The company is called Sierra Sciences and it's located in Reno, Nevada, where Dr. Andrews lives. Check the description below. I'll have a link to Dr. Andrews' Facebook profile, also his LinkedIn profile, a link to Sierra Sciences website, and I highly recommend going to YouTube and watching many lectures and interviews of Dr. Andrews and learning so much. I've been doing this for many years. That's one of the reasons I know so much about telomeres and the telomerase enzyme because I've learned from the best, and I highly recommend you do the same. There is hours and hours and hours of lectures of him on YouTube, and I hope to maybe add another one. Dr. Andrews, if you would like to be interviewed on this channel, we'd love to have you for our audience. We're all about personal development and growth, anti-aging, curing aging and diseases. So I think that our, our brands and our insight mixes very well together. So hopefully we could schedule that at some point. The book starts off with an introduction of the first line of his last book, Curing Aging. I plan to live forever. That book was published three years before. This book was published in 2017, so I wonder if Dr. Andrews has a new book coming out at some point in the future because this science is dramatically evolving rapidly fast. And it's really exciting because people are starting to understand and believe that we can actually cure aging and all chronic diseases, including things like cancer, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's. And what he is pointing out in this book is that every single bit of research that's been done on these chronic conditions shows that there are telomeres shortened that are associated with these conditions. But a lot of the researchers themselves haven't caught up to the fact that it's not just a correlation, it's a causation. That is what Dr. Ed Park has argued in his Telomere Miracle book that I did a review on, 
and Dr. Bill Andrews shows the same thing. In all of the medical journals and research papers that I've read on telomeres over the last decade clearly at least show this or they allude to this if the data isn't right in there. So bad things happen when telomeres get short. So we're going to run through these chapters since this is a relatively short book. We start off with an introduction where Bill Andrews describes you know, how he got interested in telomeres and anti-aging. And then he explains in the next chapter that aging is not graceful. It is awful. I learned this from a very young age, and the more that I've learned about our aging process and all the science behind it, I completely agree. We want to try and slow down, stop, and reverse aging when, whenever possible. Theories about aging is the next chapter, and Bill Andrews in this chapter describes how shortened telomeres is what is aging us primarily. There might be other things involved, but the primary driving factor is the shortening of our telomeres, particularly in our stem cells, and those stem cells produce all our differentiated cells in, throughout our body, and your body is made up of about 30 trillion cells, if you didn't know that, that's trillion with a T, that's a thousand, billion is one trillion, and those stem cells create the differentiated cells, which make up the majority of your human cells. If those telomeres are short in your stem cells, then they're gonna be short in your differentiated cells as well. The next chapter, Bill Andrews describes his Brick Lane model, where he describes the way your cells replicate is the RNA has to copy the DNA of every cell for it to replicate. And when that RNA is copying the DNA, it can't copy the very last end of the genetic code, which is your telomeres. And that code is TTAGGG. So he describes it as a brick layer trying to lay a brick, but he falls off the edge. Therefore, your telomeres are shorter every time the cell replicates. This is called the telomere replication problem. It can't be solved by any way that we know of right now. The only way that we can solve that is through the next chapter, telomerase enzyme. The telomerase enzyme comes in like Bill Andrews describes as an angel and just lays an extra brick onto for the brick layer. So essentially you have the telomerase enzyme being a microbioprinter that is printing out that code TTAGGG to lengthen your telomeres. We want to find chemical compounds that will greatly activate your telomerase enzyme. Bill Andrews and his team at Sierra Sciences have discovered telomerase activation molecules He's discovered them from a pharmaceutical standpoint, and he's also discovered them from a nutraceutical standpoint. The pharmaceutical telomerase activator that Bill Andrews and his team have discovered is the most powerful telomerase activator for humans on the planet that we know of, according to this book from Bill Andrews that was written in 2017. However, the sad thing is, is that it takes about 12 years and $2 billion on average to get a pharmaceutical drug approved by the FDA in the US. So sadly, what I've been taking for a number of years is a nutraceutical, which is TA65, and I've also tried other cycloestrogenol products as well. I've seen great benefits from these personally. My wife, other friends, family members have reported anecdotal benefits as well. But these are still weak telomerase activators compared to what Bill Andrews and his team already have with the pharmaceutical telomerase activator and what we can potentially develop. Bill Andrews strongly believes if his team gets more funding, we can develop much stronger telomerase activators. So Bill, let me know if I'm incorrect on this, but I believe the strongest telomerase activator currently is about 14% activation. We wanna to get to 100%. We wanna get that telomerase as active as possible. Now he points out in the book that the best way to do this is actually gene editing. And that's the next level. Um, another friend of mine on Facebook, Liz Parrish, has been the first individual to have her actual gene edited to induce more telomerase activation of that enzyme in her stem cells. And this was, I believe, October of 2016, maybe September. I'm going off my memory right now. So it's been about two and a half years. And Liz is, I believe, in her mid 40s at this period of time, and she is showing positive benefits right now with no negative side effects to my knowledge. Liz, if you're watching, feel free to comment below if I'm incorrect about any of that, but this is all true as of now. 
So this is really exciting, but the gene editing that Liz Parrish did in October 2016 and still today, unfortunately is illegal in the US because of the FDA. She had to go to Columbia, South America to do this. And it was about $100,000. But I believe the price of gene editing will come down dramatically, but it's all gonna have to do with research and education. This is why you should share this information, read this book, share it with a friend, he points out in the book over and over again that we are getting closer to a cure to aging and all diseases. There are all sorts of pharmaceutical companies that will be displaced and disrupted. This will cause problems in certain financial markets, but you know what? I'm in Silicon Valley. I'm all about disruption. And this is more importantly, the moral and correct thing to do to help people from avoiding these horrible chronic diseases. You know, I have a hard time nowadays donating to cancer research or donating to Parkinson's research because sadly, they're just all research, researching the end stage of what is really the one chronic disease, which is aging. So I want people to start thinking more like this. If you disagree, please comment below as to why. Keep it friendly and give me real evidence on why you believe this isn't true. But do some education first if you haven't. Read the book, check out Bill Andrews' work. It's, you'll probably be very impressed with what he talks about. In another chapter, Bill Andrews discusses how the telomerase enzyme somehow miraculously knows to lengthen your shortest telomeres in your stem cells. To me, this is pretty incredible. I discovered this maybe seven or eight years ago or so. Uh, Bill Andrews was very instrumental and helpful to me when I was looking to get my telomeres measured in the year 2013 when I was 28 years old at the time. After consulting with Dr. Andrews, I chose a company called LifeLength. They're headquartered in Barcelona, Spain. I had a great experience with them. It was about $1,000 at the time. I had to see an anti-aging doctor in San Francisco to get my blood drawn. They shipped it to Florida shipped it to Spain, where they have the technology to look under the electron microscope. And long story short, they came back and told me I had a chronological age of 28, which I already knew, and a biological age of 21, based off their telomere measurement. Dr. Andrews points out in the book that there are many different companies that will measure your telomere length, and there's many different methods that they use but LifeLink uses the best method according to Dr. Bill Andrews, and I did quite a bit of research on this in 2013 and have to agree. This research has evolved quite a bit. However, from the book in 2017 that I'm reviewing right now, Bill Andrews still believes the technology that LifeLink uses is the best technology for your telomere measurement. And it's very important, as I mentioned before, that we don't just look at all of your average telomere length, we want to know the critically short telomeres. That's what's really important because that's what's going to cause cancer and all the horrible diseases. So for example, if you have very short telomeres in your liver, because maybe you've been drinking too much alcohol and living an unhealthy lifestyle, then you have a higher chance of getting liver cancer or a liver disease more susceptible to liver diseases there. So therefore taking a telomerase activation um, product would greatly enhance your chances of those uh, telomeres lengthening specifically in your liver. Somehow the technology in your body knows to do that. It's incredible. So regarding the summary of the book, we'll go ahead and finish up. He just gives his final thoughts, conclusion, how, you know, telomere length is very, very important and it's the number one cause of aging and all chronic diseases. Dr. Andrews points out, as he has many times from my research, that about 5,000 base pairs is the shortest length that your telomeres can be before you just die from any type of a chronic condition or aging. I could do a whole nother video on telomeres and I will, so one more reason to say subscribe to this channel, but just real quick info on that while we're talking about base pairs. When you are conceived, your base pairs in your cells are about 15,000 base pairs for your telomeres. And then it's 10,000 base pairs when you're born. And then as a 34 year old right now, I probably have somewhere around 85, maybe 9,000 base pairs, but I'm different. The average 30 year old probably has about 8,000 to 8,500 base pairs of telomeres. So for a review for this book, I think the positives again is that it's super short. 
It's only 80 pages. It's written in layman terms. So anybody who's an English speaker can really enjoy this book. Read it very quickly. If you're not stopping to constantly type in, what's this word? What does that mean? And doing other research, you can read this book in probably two hours or less. And so it's, that's a huge positive in my opinion. And a negative there would be that, you know, it doesn't have a lot of research, you know, articles to back it up or citations. There's actually no even description of who Bill Andrews is. So I don't know, Dr. Andrews, if you did that on purpose. It's 2019. People can do their own research. They can watch videos like this to find out who Dr. Bill Andrews is. That's why I'm including that info in the description below. But overall, the book is really easy to read, and it's a phenomenal message. It's the most important message that I believe we have on this planet today. You know, everybody's talking about all these different problems that we have, politics and all this nonsense. The biggest problem that we have is curing aging and curing all chronic conditions. If we do this, we will be living in a completely different, much more amazing world. And I think that it's right around the corner. If we get this information out and educate people, it's not just going to happen. We know basically how to do it, is what Bill Andrews points out in the book. His technology can test 4,000 different chemical compounds on an average day. But we can create more of that technology with more funding. The 2008 crash really crippled Sierra Sciences. So I personally know from my research that Warren Buffett, as an example, has had a friend that he's been friends with for decades. This friend of Warren Buffett goes to an anti-aging doctor, Peter Atia, in New York. And I saw Peter giving a lecture recently saying that Warren Buffett's friend used to see Warren about every six months for many decades and Warren would have a new investment advice or a hot stop, stock tip or a new business venture he'd always be excited about. That's all he would talk about. However, this friend of Warren Buffett says that within the past couple of years, all Warren wants to talk about privately to his friend is anti-aging, how to get younger. Because Warren's in his late 80s now and he's got $70 billion. This is a huge problem. We have many wealthy people who could be donating just a fraction of their wealth to Sierra Sciences or Aubrey de Grey's Sins Foundation. And we can solve this aging problem very, very quickly, in my opinion, from what I know. And this is the core message. This is why you should share this video with a friend or share it on your social media platform or subscribe to this channel to get more information like this. Definitely like this video if it's adding value for you. And if you have questions, comment. Things are changing fast and I'm getting excited about the state of anti-aging research and how it's becoming more popular, particularly among the very wealthy. Jeff Bezos, in an interview recently, was asked what he would like to see on his tombstone. And I believe he said something along the lines of, here lies the, man, the world's oldest lived person. So that is his goal, that's exciting. He donated $100 million to an anti-aging startup. I believe he donated $100 million to the wrong company. I believe he should be donating this money to Sierra Sciences. And the good news is, is that I'm pretty confident Jeff Bezos wants to find this answer, you know, wants to live longer. And we're close, share this video, get it out. It will help let the money flow in to where the research needs to actually go. Another wealthy person, Larry Ellison, he's one of the wealthiest people on the planet. He's the founder of Oracle Corporation. I can literally see their headquarters right out this window right here in Redwood Shores, California, here in the San Francisco Bay Area. He has had his own private anti-aging company where he does his own private research and funds this for his private purpose. He's in his early 70s right now, and he looks really young and really good, and he speaks very young. He doesn't speak and look and act like a normal 74-year-old or whatever he is right now. So just check recent videos of him. Google Ventures spun off a new company called Calico in 2012. I remember when it happened, and I've been to their headquarters. I sold to their team last year and met all of their HR team. I was in their offices. They're in South San Francisco, about 15 miles from where I am. It's very exciting what they are doing. Calico was started by the founders of Google, which is Sergey Brin and Larry Page. So these individuals are worth I don't know, $40 billion or something right now, depending on the price of Google stock. And they believe that we can find 
the cure for aging, or at least I'll say that they believe we should be searching for the cure for aging and the cure for chronic conditions in humans. And we don't know really what Calico has found yet because they're pretty private, which is a little unfortunate, but I'm sure that they've been doing great work in the background and that this information will positively benefit humans in the coming years and hopefully not decades. So I just share that information to let you guys know this is not a lost cause. This is not you know, 2,000 years ago or even 50 years ago. We've been scammed before by all sorts of different um, used car salesmen like snake oil when it comes to finding the fountain of youth. So I understand why people are very skeptical and why people have written off this problem as something we will just never solve. However, if you purchase this book on Amazon, there'll be a link below in the description, as well as to Dr. Bill Andrews uh, last book, Curing Aging you should be able to use some pretty simple logic and intuition to tell that this problem is a lot closer to being solved than what you might have realized before if you're not educated on this topic. So I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys can check out the book. Comment below if you have any questions. Feel free to push back if you totally disagree with me and think I'm a crackpot and should be wearing, wearing a tinfoil hat. I'm very used to it and would love to see your comments either way. One more thing before we go. I want to let you all know what we have coming up on the channel. I'll be doing a three-month update of my umbilical cord-derived Wharton's Jelly mesenchymal stem cell injection and infusion that I had three months ago at Dream Body Clinic in Nuevo Vierto, Mexico. And spoiler alert, I'm doing much better. So I was a little down a month ago in month two that I wasn't having quite the results I was thinking. I'll explain in this upcoming video, so stay subscribed for that. And also I'm gonna be talking about all sorts of things like intermittent fasting, how that helps produce more human growth hormone, dopamine, it helps actually produce more and better stem cells in your body, cold showers, I've been doing cold showers for a few months now and I find the benefits incredibly positive. I'll talk about why I do that and the health benefits there. We can also talk a little bit more about sleep and there's a company I've been researching and I actually just purchased two of the kits for myself and one for my wife today. The company is called Viome, V-I-O-M-E. If you're super excited about this, check the description below and I'll have a link. But basically, they are getting a stool sample of you and a blood sample from pricking your finger. And they are figuring out what your specific microbiome in your gut is like. And therefore, they can determine what foods you should be eating and should not be eating. And I've heard really good reviews from very credible people about how this has impacted their lives. So I'm excited to try this myself. I'll do a YouTube video about this. Unfortunately, I won't get the kit for probably about a week. And I won't have the results for unfortunately maybe six weeks or so from now based on the fact that they are growing like crazy and there's a lot of demand for this product. So it used to be two to three weeks for this results to come in and right now it's six weeks or so. So get excited for this. Healthcare is changing. The way that you can manage and control your personal life is changing. So remember, this channel is all about getting you to break those old habits that are holding you back from becoming the best version of yourself and getting you to create new positive habits that will help you become the best version of yourself. All right, we'll see you next time.